All right, welcome back. In this fourth video about the counter, I want to show you a more advanced technique you can use when defining procedures um, to handle somewhat more complicated situations than we've looked at before. So we've been talking at length about the hazards of repeating code, but here we've got a particularly egregious example, which is the handlers for the happy, sad, and animated buttons. All of those do the same stuff. And in fact, we've had bugs resulting from failing to copy and update things. The trick is um, figuring out how to use as inputs the text box. It, it's, it's a little tricky. It's a little subtle, which is why I didn't go over it before. But that's why I'm going to go over it in this video to give you all a chance to see how you can write procedures that use your user interface components as inputs. So I am gonna create a do procedure here because I basically wanna do these blocks right here. And so what we'll call this procedure is um, mood click. Okay, so every time you click for a particular mood, it's gonna call this procedure. We're gonna need to give it two inputs. One input is going to be the mood box, and the other input is going to be the, whoops, where the, oh, right now it's just X, but I want it to be the mood tag. So how are we going to use these things? Well, let's bring over uh, happy box and start thinking about this. So here's the easy part is, for the tag, I just want to use the mood tag, and then we can pass in happy as a parameter. The really tricky part is thinking about happy box. So for that, we have to go to this special any component menu, and we need to grab any text box. Okay. And any text box gives us blocks we can use with an input to do stuff. So let so what we're going to need is text and set text. So we're going to need a set text and then we're going to need actually two of text. So now what's what's this going to look like? Well, we're going to replace this with set text box text of get mood box to this. Okay, we want this stuff back here. All right. And then that goes in the trash can. And then we want to, for number, instead of referencing happy box, we want it to be in terms of mood box. And the same idea applies here. We want this to be in terms of mood box. All right, so what does all this look like as a procedure call and how do all these pieces fit together? So we're gonna call mood click and the mood tag is going to be happy and the mood box is going to be happy box down here. So let's compare our procedure definition. Oh, whoops, we got some stray happy box components here. Let's toss those in the trash. So let's compare the structure of what we've got in mood click with what we still have in sad button before we replace it. So when we knew we were dealing with sad box, we would set sad box text to, to this. But with inputs, we don't automatically know what kind of thing they are. Now, we're gonna have it be pretty clear that what we're looking for is a text box, okay? And so we have to use this special component to, um, we have to use this special component to um, say, I know mood box is a text box and I want to set its text component to such and such. 
And then I have to do the same thing over here. I know that mood box is a text box. I'm going to get its text over here, just like that. Okay. And so structurally, it's still very, very similar. I just had to use a little bit more infrastructure because the inputs don't really say what the data type is. But now the good news is I can just um, use that same procedure call in here. So I'm going to call mood click with the mood box being sad box and the mood tag being, oh, I don't want all of that. I just want that being sad. And then the rest of this heads into the trash can. And now I can do the same thing with animated button. So I'm going to call mood click and I will use animated box and the tag animated and the rest of this goes away. So obviously my program has gotten a bit more complicated, but the pieces of the program are much easier to follow now. What I'm doing with those buttons has been uh, moved over to this new procedure, mood click, which handles the click for any of those buttons and makes it do the right thing. And so the any component option on this menu here then is really, really helpful for simplifying further your procedures and allowing your inputs to be any data type that you happen to be using somewhere in your program. So um, again, as with everything with procedures, these are optional, but really, really useful and highly recommended. Happy programming, and I'll see you next time.